river boat problems river boat so when we are observing these concepts we have totally four categories the first one is that is uh, we have shortest time shortest time concept shortest path concept next upstream downstream concept upstream downstream concept next one is about river velocity greater than boat velocity this is one special case i will explain what is that exactly so here we are having shortest time shortest path upstream downstream concept river velocity greater than boat velocity that is a special situation i'll explain one by one all this stuff then we'll do the problems related to that first shortest time what do you mean by shortest time topic here shortest time itself is telling within the less time within the less time what is that within the less time topic here let us check it out there are the two banks of the river this is one bank of the river this is another bank of the river and our boat want to travel from a point a on one bank to point b on another bank the river flow is in this direction river flow is in this direction we are is the river flow so when boat is traveling in a to b in the direction of a to b let me take boat velocity as vb and vr is uh, flow river flow velocity vr i have taken so river water flow is with the velocity vr and boat velocity as vb now our target is a a exact point is b so we decided to move from a to where a to b so when we decided to move from a to b and the problem here is the river is not at all stationary river means water will be flowing in that is not a pond pond means you can say water okay is remains like that but river means continuous flow of water will be there this river what happened pushes the boat actually it want to travel from a to b if river flow is not there boat is going straight from a to b because of river flow what happen it travel now from a instead of b it reach to the point c it has been drifted it has been drifted from b to c and the drift distance is taken as x it reach to the point c here so it has been drifted to a distance x yes. and width of the river is taken as s yes. and if a drift distance what is x sir drift distance what is s yes, sir s yes is nothing but width of the river what is s yes? s is nothing but width of the river fine width of the river drift distance boat has been drifted to some distance actual target is to move to b but was drifted to point c fine and here keep it aside now what i want to say here so the time taken to travel means it reached a to c what the time means we can write displacement by velocity in one direction we will take here what is the x in the direction of x what is the flow river flow is there in the direction of s what is there boat velocity is there so time taken i can write it as s by vb or x by vr so this is the formula what i have and this t is called shortest time shortest time shortest time taken means the boat has been drifted instead of coming to the point b it reached to the point c here we have to say aiming opposite and traveling aiming opposite now boat has been aiming to the point b and traveling but it was drifted because of river flow and this time is called shortest time its value is s by vb is equal to x by vr that is displacement by speed Yeah, the displacement by again here velocity river flow velocity vr x by vr or s by vb this is the shortest time 
so i hope you understood this first case aiming opposite this is the shortest time concept next one is shortest path concept shortest path concept very simple here so what happened aiming opposite and moving that is shortest time here reaching exact opposite point decide and no i must not get drifted i must reach exact opposite point reaching exact opposite point reaching exact opposite point decide it we must not get drift we must reach exact opposite point then but a river flow will push us no doubt in that one then what is the alternative here when river flow is pushing and you want to reach the opposite point means you have to go against to the river flow like that so when you are going against to the river flow even river flow push you here you reach to the point b so against to river flow if you go like that with some angle here theta you are making then what will happen theta is the angle made by perpendicular to the banks so even river this is a boat velocity right vb vb is a boat velocity river flow velocity is vr is in this direction from diagram i can clearly understand something like a uh, sin theta is opposite by sin theta is opposite by hypotenuse we are by vb theta is the sin inverse of we are by vb what is theta sir theta is nothing but direction that is a direction of boat with respect to perpendicular to banks with respect to perpendicular to banks perpendicular to banks but i don't want that i want direction of boat with respect to river flow river flow is in this direction 90 degree so what is the direction of boat with respect to the direction of river flow means can i write now it as 90 plus theta 90 plus theta or 90 plus sin inverse of vr by vb is called as direction of boat what we can call now direction of boat with respect to river flow with respect to river flow river flow direction 90 plus theta most of the times i found this one that's why i wrote very clearly that and what about the time taken sir here to here width of the river is yes as usual just now we told s is nothing but width of river in previous topic also and here the velocity vp and here this is the vr from pythagoras theorem i can write it as square root of vb square magnitude of the velocity in this direction is square root of vb square minus vr square pythagoras theorem this is a opposite and just and hypotenuse means we know that square root of vb square minus vr square what's the time taken time taken is in the direction of s yes. what is the speed square root of vb square minus vr square this is the time taken to travel from a to b in shortest path concept shortest path means straight line so the person reached the exactly a to b there is a shortest time taken here not shortest time shortest path travel in a time t this is the time t is the boat traveled in the shortest path means straight line a to b so this is reaching exactly opposite point we name it as shortest path concept reaching exactly opposite point we name it as shortest path concept is it clear kids yes sir now fine we got shortest path concepts also something i told third one as upstream and downstream let us check what is that upstream and downstream upstream and downstream so here these are the two things you have to be alert upstream and downstream very simple so here you are traveling a boat from a to b you are traveling in a boat from a to b so the displacement it traveled is yes 
time taken to travel here is boat is moving in this direction river is flowing diagonal to the boat direction so time is equal to i can write s by vb minus vr and what is this downstream means now it reaches the boat reaches to the point b now it is returning back return back so we be already we are is in the same direction so anyhow we told that uh, here to here is yes and time taken this is for what we told upstream and this is for downstream that nothing but yes by we be plus we are is it clear kids so what is the total yes. time total time of journey suppose from going from a to b and coming from b to a back is nothing but time taken for upstream plus time taken for downstream so s by v b minus v r plus s by v b plus v r if you want you can do for the simplifications or just let leave here this is the one topic upstream and downstream so what we done till now here is this is a shortest path concept previous one is the shortest time this concept name is called shortest time and next shortest path next we discussed about upstream and downstream now our target is fine we got upstream and downstream also now my target is about the special case we are greater than vb what is this one sir some special case you are telling from the time onwards nothing special here generally what i understood is here i when i want to write here suppose a to b a body that means a boat want to travel from a to b exact opposite point you remember that i am going against to the river flow i am going against to the river flow like that so against to the river flow what happen even the river want to push it what happens here even the river want to push it what is happening here we are going and reaching exactly to the opposite point b but unfortunately what happen means this river flow velocity is dominating boat in such a way that even you are going against to the river flow no doubt you are going against to the river flow this happens even you are going against to the river flow generally to reach the point b but this is the case even you are going against to the river flow still you are drifted to the point c still you are drifted to the point c that is the river flow is dominating the boat's velocity here such that you have been drifted to the points here no doubt width of the river is nothing but what yes river's width is the width of the river is yes what is the time taken means what i am doing here i am resolving vb into components here angle is making is theta so i can write here vb cos theta in this direction and vb sin theta in this direction and river flow is towards right let me write vr is it clear beta river flow is towards right i am writing it as vr and vb sin theta is in this direction now what i want here is drift distance i want so in the direction of drift distance the speed is we are not alone here you can't say for the x we are we can't take alone because see here there are two velocities in horizontal you know because x is horizontal displacement and so here we have we are and vb sin theta both are opposite when we are is greater than vb definitely we are will be greater than vb sin theta we are will be greater than vb sin theta when we are is greater than vb means we are definitely will be greater than its component no doubt in that so from here first of all what is the distance travel time is equal to distance means is nothing but i am taking width of the river is yes in that direction of yes what is the speed vb cos theta yes by vb cos theta what is drift distance sir it is horizontal in horizontal direction horizontal direction i am taking two things one is vb sin theta the one is vr vr is greater than vb sin theta means i can write it as vr minus vb sin theta into t so i can write it as v r minus v b sin theta into t in the place of t i can write it as 
s by v b cos theta s by v b cos theta this is the formula for drift distance drift distance and this is for the time in this special case these are the cases for the river boat problems means you people must remember this stuff then definitely you can handle river boat problems without any confusion this is the easy way to handle so the four methods shortest time shortest path. first one shortest time next shortest path next upstream downstream next the special case where river flow is greater than boat sometimes you'll be confused in exam so just check the velocity generally for this situation only in this situation only you'll be finding more river velocity compared to boat velocity river flow velocity compared to boat velocity i hope you are clear with this stuff is it clear kids